Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing Dumper Attraction. So before we get into the podcast, I just want to let you know about my website, dateme.tips. That's www.dateme.tips. Do you need help trying to save your crumbling relationship? Would you like advice on how to try and get your ex back? Or maybe you need an action plan on how to try and get a girlfriend or boyfriend. I provide email coaching on all of these subjects and can help your specific situation. Visit my website, dateme.tips, to find out more details. That's www.dateme.tips. You will also find on my site for books that I've written, my clothing range and other information. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast and today we are discussing dumper attraction. So if you've been dumped, you might be wondering why you feel such a powerful level of attraction towards your ex. You are wondering why the person who has rejected you, who has dumped you, who has ended the relationship is the one person you want more than anyone. Often, dumpies will admit that they feel even more attraction towards their ex than they did when they was in the relationship. But why is this? Why does this happen? And why do we put so much value into the person who has rejected us? Well, this all comes down to human nature. As humans, we put a lot of value into things which are scarce and which are rare. That is why we feel such value towards items and objects such as diamonds, such as gold, anything that you can think of, which is very rare, has a lot of value in our eyes. If everybody had a room full of diamonds, they would not feel as powerful towards us. You know, they would not be the type of thing that we would be looking for and trying to save up for if we had them. If we had them, we don't need them, okay? It's because they are scarce that they have extra value for us. And that is exactly the same reason as for why when a dumper ends a relationship, a dumpy feels an extra sense of attraction towards them because the dumper has now become scarce. The dumper has now become rare. The dumper is now currently unobtainable to the dumpy. And hence, the dumpy will really place a high level of attraction, interest, and desire towards the dumper, even if they never used to have such levels before. Something I always like to say is don't find rejection attractive. Now, it's an easy sentence to say, but it's very hard to accept. It's very hard to listen to and actually live your life by because it goes against human nature. And when something goes against human nature, it is very, very hard and very, very challenging to make sure that you don't follow it. Because it's natural, it's programmed into us. That is how we are wired. So what I'm trying to tell you as dumpies is do your best to separate what your ex was when you was in the relationship with them and what you are feeling right now, okay? Don't find the rejection attractive. It will naturally and automatically be feeding into your brain. But you've got to fight against that. Because if you don't, you'll be finding this an even more difficult time than you would if you can manage to kind of get past that point. Now, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be very, very hard. You're going against how you were programmed, okay? Everything in you is going to be telling you to find the rejection attractive, but I'm telling you to try to fight against it. So at this point, I just want to mention my weekly wingman service. I can be your wingman for the week, providing you with bespoke motivational encouragement. This can be to help with your love life, as well as ingraining a self-improvement mindset. The course begins with an audio call for us to speak, and then moves on to emails. For more details on this service and information on audio coaching and positivity boosts, please click the link in the description. So when we are thinking about dumper attraction, something else that we need to consider is how does the dumper view themselves at this moment? Now, even if they are not consciously thinking about themselves, how is the dumper thinking of themselves in the subconscious? 
Well, when they have ended the relationship, when they have made that decision that you could not alter, they are giving themselves a real sense of power, okay? They are putting themselves on a pedestal. They've made a decision and that decision is final in their mind. And because of that, they are very, very powerful. Now, even if this is only a subconscious thought, they will be thinking on some level that you will need to be reaffirming that value by the way you behave. So if you are a dumpy who begs, who pleads, who tries to reason with the dumper, then all you are doing is reaffirming their value. You are telling them, yes, you are very valuable. I'm not worthy. I'm a better person with you in my life. I can't live without you. All of those things that dumpies say and think. If you're doing those things, that is what the dumper is going to be thinking. You're going to be really splitting the difference between you both. You're going to be really increasing the distance between you both with them on a higher plane and you on a very low level. This is not the way to try and get your ex back, okay? You need to be balancing the scales of value. You can't be this far apart and hope to get your ex back because as a dumper will be thinking, they are not going to want to be with somebody who is of such low value. They want to be with somebody who's high value, okay? They're going to be going out into the world looking for people of at least the same value of themselves, if not a higher value than they are placing of themselves. So you need to make sure you raise your own value. And you do that by following the advice I give and implementing my version of the no contact rule. So the no contact rule is something that people suggest you implement if you've been dumped and you want to try to get your ex back. There are many different versions of a no contact rule that you can find online, but I believe that my version gives you the best possible chance of trying to get your ex back. So I suggest that you subscribe to my podcasts so that you can familiarize yourself with my version of a no contact rule, which will enable you to raise the levels in your ex's mind of your value. Okay, and if you can balance those scales, if you can treat your ex in a way that you are not reaffirming their value, if you don't find rejection attractive, then you stand every chance of one day hearing from your ex again. And at that stage, you can start to rebuild your connection. If you feel that this podcast has helped you, please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that. Help you get him back, or we can help find you someone else. Yeah, yeah, Vincent Bo, the relationship coach. Uh, giving you some insight, bringing you a new approach. Date me that tips. Go and check the site. Uh, giving you advice, helping with your love life. Get your ex back, or move to the next. Ain't no sweat. You know, Vincent Bo got you finding love. Ain't no problem. Yeah, date me that tips. Check it out now.